Hi and welcome to another Instrument Choice Support video. In this video we'll demonstrate how to set up and take a simple measurement using the Wiley 500 Hay Moisture Meter. First, a quick overview of the meter. The Wiley 500 features a durable pointed temperature and moisture sensor, a large LCD screen with the keypad below. This has five buttons. These are the power and main menu button, up and down select the keys. Select, use this to enter and switch between temperature and moisture measurements. And play, this is to start a moisture measurement. On the side there's a USB port. And last of all the battery compartment is on the bottom of the handle. To get started, install the included battery into the battery compartment. Push the battery inwards and downwards to lock it into place. Replace the battery compartment door. Press the power key to switch on the unit. The main screen of the meter displays a wealth of information, including the bale number and bale type, the measured moisture value, this will show three dashes if no measurement has been taken or less than 8% if too dry and over 80% if the sample is too wet. The IC number below is the bale temperature is used for temperature compensation. This is not the current probe temperature. If you have entered a moisture offset, it will appear here. This area of the screen will display the average value, the estimate of the highest moisture level in the bale, and the end number will depict the number of measurements used in the average and the highest moisture level estimate and there's four navigation buttons along the bottom. We'll run through each of these shortly. First, the button on the right allows you to choose between temperature or moisture measurement mode. Similar to moisture measurement mode, the temperature screen shows the bale number and bale type, the latest temperature measurement, the three dashes will again appear if no measurements have been taken, and to the right, the minimum, maximum, and memory values will appear. Minimum is the lowest temperature stored in memory, the maximum is the highest temperature stored in the memory, and the MEM value is the latest temperature stored in the memory. Just a note, when starting moisture measurements, this value may be chosen to be used as bale temperature for temperature compensation. Next, we'll run through the main menu. Press the menu button on the left. The first three options on the main menu are data clear options. Use your up and down arrows to adjust selections and press enter to confirm data clearing. Choose to clear the average and high moisture values. Clear bale, this clears the bale type of the currently selected bale and erases all measurement results stored for this bale. Or select clear all, this clears the entire measurement memory including all temperature, moisture and bale type selections. Pressing the down arrow moves on to the next screen of the main menu. The first option here is moisture offset. The moisture display can be adjusted to match an oven test or other reference method using this setting. Once set, an offset correction will be applied to all moisture measurements of the same type, including results already saved in the memory. Use the arrow keys to adjust the offset and confirm by pressing the enter key. A save symbol will appear on the screen. The next option is to manually adjust temperature compensation. Here, you can set the bale temperature for use in temperature compensation of moisture management. You can choose to manually set it or choose to have it based off a measurement. To use either historical or live temperature values, make no changes here. The next option is settings. Pressing enter here opens an additional settings submenu. The first option is language. Press enter to view the language options. Next is units. Press the enter key to cycle between Celsius and Fahrenheit. The third option is auto off. Press enter to cycle through the automatic power off time adjustment. The fourth option is average high number. This is the number of moisture results used in the calculation of the displayed average and high moisture estimate. Press enter to cycle through the options. Next is backlight. Press enter to switch the backlight on or off. Next is display contrast. Press enter to select, then use the up and down arrow keys to turn the contrast up or down. Press enter to confirm your selection. Pressing down again, the next option is to display the remaining battery capacity. Next is calibration. Here you can perform a quick calibration of moisture measurement. 
It's recommended that you perform this after storage of your meter and it is highly important for the measurement of drier bales. To calibrate, verify that the probe is clean and dry. Hold the tester so that the entire probe is surrounded by only clean, dry air with no objects closer than 30 centimeters to the probe in all directions. Start the calibration by pressing enter and calibration will automatically be performed. Returning to the settings submenu after calibration, the last selection is device information. This lists serial and manufacturing information. Back on the main screen, use the up and down selector keys to browse the list. The first few bales have pre-selected bale types for ease of use. When you wish to start a new bale, select a bale whose type matches your bale or one that has no type chosen yet. This will be listed with three dashes. Otherwise, clear an existing bale as described in the setup menu. Press enter to select the bale that you wish to use. Before taking a measurement, you'll need to set or manually enter the temperature for temperature compensation. To manually enter a temperature, return to the settings menu. You can also choose to use the latest temperature value stored or a temperature value used previously for temperature compensation. These two options will only be shown if available. Or you can measure the bale's temperature on the spot. To do this, insert the probe into the bale, let it acclimatize, then press the play button when on the temperature measurement screen to take a temperature measurement. Press the small save icon to save the reading to the device's memory. Then press back to return. Once bale type and the temperature units are set and measured, you can take a moisture measurement. Press the button on the right to move into the moisture measurement mode, then press play to take a measurement. The meter will ask you to push the probe into the bale. Push into the hay bale at least 15 centimeters. After the push has stopped, the device will begin to measure moisture. Just a note, if the required push force is low, the push may not be detected. In this case, you can force the device to take a measurement by pressing the play key again. Shortly after, the resulting measurement will display. If your measurement is within range, you can store the measurement by pressing the save icon. And that's how to set up and use the Wiley 500 hay and silage moisture meter. For more information on this meter, speak with an instrument choice scientist. Call 1300 737 871 or email customer-service at instrumentchoice.com.au. We hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.